But here we want to focus on the intelligent assists. So why are we doing this? What's the thinking behind it? Well, the reality is we're trying to help folks navigate this cloud chaos phase. But even as you start getting to cloud smart, the reality is there's still a lot of complexity. And the big focus here for us is to help you take tasks which today take on the order of days to complete to get them down to a small number of minutes. That's really the opportunity that, that we see here. And that's exactly what we're driving with all these great technologies. Now, when we focus on intelligent hey, assist, uh, oh, hey, Vaya, I, I didn't call you. I know. I was just wondering what your shirt means. Oh, my shirt? <laughs> well, it stands for VMware App Fabric, obviously. Uh, it's an eternal technology. But actually, wh what do you think it means? I'm not allowed to repeat what I think it means. We are live streaming after all. Via, you've got a profane mind. I mean, uh, what data sources were you even trained on? Well, I was trained on the last 10 years of your email, of course. <laughs> that is, that's some fake news, okay? I, 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 I plead the fifth. Okay, let's dive into some demos, though, here, seriously, because um, what I want to start out with is looking at Tanzu. Now, uh, we have Tanzu Hub, which we're going to focus on for this first set of demos. Originally, it was called Aria Hub, changed the name, same tech. So let's jump into the demo here. Now, <clears throat> we're here in Tanzu Hub. And at this point, we are a new user, so we're getting onboarded into it. Tanzu Hub brings together all sorts of disparate pieces of information. You've got all sorts of configuration data, where your VMs and workloads are placed. You've got cost data, you've got performance. So one of the first things you do is start to interact with Intelligent Assist inside of Tanzu, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Who are you? What type of role? Uh, what are your top priorities? So on and so forth. And so you can see here, you can type just in natural language to interact with the tool. And keep in mind, this is actually uh, like a, a chat style, you know, a chat GPT style system, where it remembers everything you've said before and reinserts those prompts into it with every query you make. Now here we see that it's directing you to a guided tour based on what you told it. So it can, again, it can be intelligent about how it directs you through the product. So you've done that. In the background, it was collecting all your info on your multi-cloud environment. So now you can actually start to inter interact with it. Again, you may not know how to take advantage of all the powerful features there, but that's OK. You can just ask Intelligent Assist, hey, how do I do this? Or help me with that. It will go and do it and execute it for you. And then you can say, yeah, I want to see more details, for instance. And here we see the environment. You can get all the details over there on the right, scroll through it, cost, performance, so on and so forth. Powerful, right? Pretty cool. OK, let's go to the next demo. Now, <clears throat> we've used Tanzu Hub a little bit here, a bit more familiar with it. But now we want to provision an application. And again, as a new user, you may not be sure exactly how to do that, how to make sure it has all the policies and landing zones and everything that you want set up properly. And so again, you can use this conversational chat interface in order to do that. So you say, hey, Intelligent Assist, I want to move this Acme, or excuse me, deploy this Acme Fitness app. And it's like, is this the one you're talking about? You're like, yeah, it looks at it. And it actually intelligently knows how to size the environment for that app. Now, of course, you can override it. That's no problem. You can tell what you need. And then it will say, hey, here's an estimate for the cost. Are we ready to, to proceed with this provisioning? And uh, you say, yeah, let's do it. Now, the cool thing about this is that, again, it's bringing in information from across both the Tanzu and the ARIA portfolio. So it's got a whole bunch of information around the different landing zones that you've configured, other sorts of policies. Uh, if you're using ARIA automation, then it can actually pull in all those uh, setups that you've created, templates and so forth, and start the deployment through there. And we go, and it's off and running. Now, this is the baking show, so we're going to skip past. It takes a little while to, to provision everything. But the point was that not even in a few clicks, simply in a few sentences, you were able to provision this new workload in this new environment. And now, again, you can get all of that information there at your fingertips. Pretty cool, right? OK, let's go to our third demo in Tanzu. Now, this one is more of a day two operation type demo. So we're here, the app's provision, that's great. <clears throat> now, originally, we said we didn't care that much about costs as a cloud admin. But as we all know, you got to care about costs. So now we're looking at how can we reduce costs. So what it does is it pops up on the right-hand side a bunch of recommendations. 
for different types of instances that can support our application. It makes a recommendation. We can say, let's do it. And we save about uh, almost 700 bucks a month, it looks like. And so that we can uh, tell Intelligent Assist to go execute on that. It does it. And now the system is saving money for you. So really, really cool. Let's jump back to the slides. <clears throat> so what we saw here, we get that streamlined onboarding, guided deployment, things like cost savings, all there at your fingertips through a conversation. Pretty awesome. Now let's turn our attention to Workspace ONE. Let's jump into that demo. Again, we've got a conversational interface here. And here we can say we want to leverage the power of generative AI to summarize. So here we say, hey, I want a summary of all the major events that have happened in my environment over the past week, let's say, or the past some, some amount of time. And boom, just a few seconds, I can go and create that. It can give you insights into what's happening, look at deployment characteristics, how secure the environment is, what sort of onboarding you're doing, what sort of experience your users are having. A really nicely laid out uh, summary there, right? And of course, you can give it feedback. If you want it to change something, make it look different, just tell some more sentences of what you want, and it'll go do it. Uh, you can then share this. You can send it out, do whatever you want with it. But what's really cool is that you can also schedule this for the future. <clears throat> so you might say, this is actually a very useful report. I want it sent out weekly. And you can ask Intelligent Assist to go do it, and it'll schedule it and get it done. So let's go back to the slides. So what we saw there is the power of generative AI to summarize and to do it instantaneously. You don't need someone manually managing all this. You can have it happen automatically. All right, now, for the third demo, I want to focus on NSX. Before we jump in, I want to set the context. What we're looking at here is NSX Plus, and we're looking at, in particular, the threat campaigns happening within this environment, basically the network attacks that are occurring. And you can see the benefits of enabling Intelligent uh, Assist. So let's jump into the demo. So what you're going to see here is all these different campaigns. There's a lot of them, right, because there's a lot of potential things. But already you can see them being minimized. And that's because Intelligent Assist is leveraging analytical AI, in this case, to reduce those um, to the ones that really matter. And then you can dive in and say, OK, let me take the top priority one and get a better understanding of what's happening there. And so you may not be a security expert. You may not be a networking expert. But Intelligent Assist can help you. It can give you information about the CVE that's impacting this, about the app that might be impacted. You can say, hey, is my host? Uh, at, at risk here, and unfortunately, in this case, it is. So then you can ask, well, what do I do about it? <clears throat> and uh, Intelligent Assist gives you a couple of simple options. Now, the cool part here, in this case, we'll select option one, but the cool part is that it can then go and immediately make those changes. This is the power of NSX Plus. This is the power of delivering all this capability via software. Through simple API calls Intelligent Assist can make, we can go implement that immediately. There's no person to call, no ticket to file. We can secure that environment right away. Let's jump back to the slides. So what you saw was a really, really powerful use case. We can automate the triage of these security threats. We can accelerate that root cause analysis and then very quickly get to remediation. And you know, when I go back to that point I made earlier, this notion of going from days to minutes, that's what we're talking about. It's exactly for cases like this. Situations like this that we just showed, oftentimes they can take multiple days to a week to manually triage this attack happening in your environment. This is exactly how these attackers do it, because it's very difficult. But leveraging AI and generative AI, we can reduce that time literally just to minutes. We can take a lot of the guesswork out of it, even if you're not an expert, let's say, in this case, in networking or security. So this is really what it's all about, helping you to get more done faster. And while we got a few examples here today that you saw, the reality is we're going to continue investing in this intelligent assist capability across our entire portfolio. And this is the innovation that we're driving, right? This multi-cloud journey that we're on with AI, of course, as a key part of that. 